After pouring foil on him, some threw a bunny cloth on him, but I threw it back. Victims mom. And the news in full. According to a news that was published by Punch newspaper online this morning, it was reported that last Easter Monday when Christian all over the world were celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. An Uber driver whose name was given as Tope Ulu Rufemi was begging for his life in the Ijoka area of Akure on those states as a blood testing mob gathered around him, hit him with stones and sticks after they accused him of being an internet flood star. His mother, whose name was given as Mo Jisola, who appealed to the mob to let go of her son, who was only visiting the town because his wife and child were holid holidaying with her, and that he was not someone they accused him to be, but the mob did not listen to her and instead of heeding the pleas of mother, the mob made threat to burn her along with her son. However, while she was recalling her trendy incident in tears during an interview with the Punch correspondent, the sad mother said that by the time she got there, he was in a pool of blood as his face was on the ground. She called his name. He raised his head and looked at her face. He said, I asked his siblings to help me carry him to a hospital. The people there said they would hit him, hit me with sticks i was hit and they said i must not carry him that was how someone from the crowd poured petrol and after pouring foil on him someone threw a bunny cloth on him but i threw it back i ran there and picked the cloth up and threw it away so someone said they should hit me with stick again they said, who is this woman? I said, he was my son, and I begged them to help me carry him. For that talking, she said, someone threw this bunny cloth at her son again, but he took the cloth himself and threw it away because it was already burning him. And when her son threw the cloth away, there was one, of, one tall man there whose name was given as his name is Luku. She said Luku was a friend to Tokwe's elder brother and Tokwe's elder brother shouted at Luku that Tokwe was his younger brother but Luku pushed him away, carried a stick and hit Tokwe's head in her presence as another man Job also carried another stone and hit his face in her presence. She said she left the place crying when she realized she was helpless and they said they saw a snake in his car and she said that where was the snake because she did not see any. any. Okay. Hmm. We should believe God will vindicate the children uh, and give God know how the entire story, how it is, yes sir, God knows the truth. Therefore, my listeners are there because of the beauty take the short hand. After pouring fire on him, someone threw a bunny cloth on him, but I threw it back, Vitin's mom. Please react to that if I should do so believe do justice to every of your reactions.
Talk about the viewers' opinion. They already popping in for the comment section on the first one. It's from great Yoruba is a terrific and terrible tribe. Shame on those inferior tribe. Then from Uyedu to please undo police should arrest those names mentioned. Then from Bosma, he says jungle justice should be eradicated in our societies. Illiteracy is eating deep into our society. Very stupid set of people at knew all the news against him were all lies. Okay. Then from Uborg, he say, Oh mama, I can imagine your pain watching your son die in such a manner and you couldn't do anything to help him. Trust me. I know what it's like to lose a child. May God give you the strength to bear the loss of your son. Sorry, Mama. Okay. I think for this note, we are wrapping it. Please endeavor to subscribe to the channel and also ensure that you share the very news. Talk social media platforms as you do so believe the Almighty God will do the very need for your life. Bye bye.